right, hi guys. Um, I'm back here again. My first video is about a week ago, and I wanted to try to do um, false lashes for you guys, but I didn't realize how awkward and weird this is going to be to try and get them on my eye and get it in the camera for you guys. So what I'm going to do is just try to do it. I'm probably going to have to go off camera for a couple of seconds, and then I'll come back and try to tell you what I did, and I'll try to get as much in the camera as I can and explain as much as I can. Um, the lashes I'm using are just cheaper lashes you can get at Walmart. I think they're three bucks or something. And they're um, the Ardell natural ones. And they look like this when they come out of the package. Um, just want to tear it off of there gently so you don't rip it. And then they look like that when they're off the thing. And it looks really straight. You don't want it to be straight. So if you just grab either end and kind of roll it because you want it to be more round to fit your eye shape better. I think the most important thing when putting on false lashes is your adhesive. And I have not used a better adhesive than Duo. So if you're going to be doing false lashes, this is what you need. And how I do it is I just kind of squeeze a little bit, just like that and just roll it over the end of the lash. Just getting a little bit on there, not too clumpy or anything. And then a trick that you have to do to get it kind of tacky so that it sticks is just blow on it a little bit, wait a couple seconds, and then you can try to get it on your eye, which my mirror's over here. I'm gonna try to kind of get it so you guys can see me, but it's probably not gonna happen. Just lay it on top of your natural lash. And push it in a little bit. Just try to get it to stick. You can see that at all. You can see the glue is still a little bit white, but it's going to dry clear. And once you get it on as close to your natural lash as possible, but still on the skin so it sticks, kind of straighten her out so it's not hurting you. So here's the eye with the false lashes. Here's the eye without. Probably can't tell because the lighting is just that bad, but kind of a big deal. Now I'm going to try to do the same thing with the other eye, but I did have a request on how to do your eyeliner when you're doing false lashes. And for me, I know there's tips and tricks that everybody uses, but for me it's pretty basic and simple. I don't do anything crazy. I just line it like I normally would. The difference today is that I'm not using my liquid. Um, I'm using Mark's No Place to Run, and it's uh, waterproof. It dries pretty quick, and then once it's dry, it ain't going nowhere. So I use that and just, you know, regular thick line across the eye. Fan out just a teeny bit at the end. And then I know a lot of people will do this little guy, lining the upper water line. So just, to me, it kind of tickles. But to me, that's more of a pain than anything. I've never really done that before. I've never needed to. Because to me, you can't really notice. I mean, I didn't do it on this eye, and you can't really tell. And then I did do it on this eye, and you can't really tell. So that's one way to do it, but there's no necessity to do that. So I'm going to take off my other one. Give it a roll. Get some more glue on there. And if I were going to be um, reusing lashes, these lash lashes or anything, I would put the glue maybe on the back of my hand or something and dip it that way. That way you're not cross-contaminating. Thank you. 
There's really no way to do this in the camera. Pushing it in there, trying to get it to latch to my eye. One thing you really want to be careful about is that you do not want to get this glue in your eyeball. Um, I've not personally done it, but I've heard about it, and I hear that it stinks, and it hurts really bad, and it's just something you don't want to do. So be very careful when you're using eyelash glue, because it is on a very sensitive part of your body. You really got to pay attention to not do that. Okay, and since... And since I'm not going to be reusing these again, um, if I was, I probably wouldn't do this step, or I would, it would just be a lot lighter, and I would try to not get it on the lash itself. But to make it look more natural, what you're going to want to do is take your mascara. Today I'm just going to use Maybelline's The Falsies. doesn't really matter. It's just to get your natural lashes and the fake lashes to kind of combine. It's like a little extra step or a little extra glue to get them to stick together and look normal. Just a little bit there, just to combine the two. Now you can't really tell my lashes from the false lashes. So it's a good camouflage. And then one more thing I wanted to share with you guys today is that I went to Walmart last night. And I went through the e.l.f. stand. I don't know if you're familiar with e.l.f., eyes, lips, face. Um, they are a very inexpensive drugstore cosmetics company. You can buy their stuff online. You buy it at Target, Walmart, Walgreens, I think everywhere. Um, super, super inexpensive. And some of the products, you can tell it's inexpensive. Uh, you're definitely getting what you pay for. But some other products, they actually know what they're doing, and they're doing a pretty good job, and I will continue to buy those products, like their matte lip color. Um, it's the one I have on today. I love their matte lip color. This is actually the third color that I bought from this line of their cosmetics. Love, love, love it. And their blush is pretty decent, too. Um, their high definition powder, I would say, is a pretty good dupe for the Makeup Forever powder. It's not quite as fine and you can tell the difference but it does the same job. So if you're looking for cheaper stuff definitely try that out. I would steer clear of their eyeshadows. They're not very pigmented. They're really powdery just kind of fluff off and don't have any real lasting power. But um, their brush cleaner, I use their brush cleaner religiously. Yeah, some stuff is worth it, some is not. You just kind of have to feel it out. But the good news is it's cheap enough that you can totally do that and not break the bank. Okay, I think that's it for today, guys. I know that it was really hard to see. I'm trying to get in, all up in here. I have every light in the kitchen on right now so that you guys can try to see. Um, I did try really hard. I know that the sun is not being my friend today. And I know that it's probably really hard to see anything that I did, but I tried. Um, there's my eyes closed with lashes on. I will try to do it again when I get better lighting. I did order some lights today, so we will see when Amazon gives those to me and if it will improve. Um, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe and tune in and be my friend and all that good stuff. Love you guys. Mwah.